Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today. We got a do-it-yourself project um, that we're gonna get done here in the next hour or so. Uh, the plan is, got these deer feeders, um, normal one you can buy, you know, Walmart carries them, uh, Trash Supply, Roll King. They all carry them for, you know, around 70, 80 bucks. They all come with the battery operated motor here on the bottom, which is great. Most of the time they work great, some of the times they don't. This is the second motor that I've replaced um, here within the last probably two, three months. Um, not had any luck at all with these motors, so what the plan is, we're gonna build a gravity-fed tube feeder. Okay, that's the plan. I um, went to Home Depot, bought all this stuff, and had some of it as well. Um, really inexpensive, not gonna cost you very much. Um, I wanna say, in order other than the one pipe, this whole thing cost me about $25 to make two of them. I'm gonna make one for my property here, uh, behind the house, as well as one for Morgan County. So, let's go ahead and check out what you'll need. Uh, toilet bowl flange, it says three to four inch. Uh, DWV, this cost, I wanna say it was like four bucks. Three something, four dollars, okay? And this is what is actually gonna hook underneath where the motor is now and we're just gonna put our screws right in here. Those holes it's already got, holes going all the way around. Next thing we got, and I went with the three inch, um, because on this flange, this is the pipe we're gonna be using, okay? This is the thick walled three inch PVC. Fits right inside that flange, okay? So when this hooks up underneath, that PVC is gonna go right up in, has a nice snug fit for the tube that comes down. Okay, so then next, it's gonna be the T right here that's gonna come out, and this is where we're gonna put our tubes where the deer will actually eat at. The main supply tube will run straight up here, okay? So these T's here, uh, I wanna say it might've been five or six bucks, something like that. The actual three inch PVC, like I say, is pretty dirty. I've already had this, um, had it off a job. This is schedule 40 here. Um, three inch so it's going to be thicker and the reason why you want that thicker pipe because it fits right in all these sleeves nice and snug okay on the T as well as this flange then we have our primer PVC primer and PVC rubber cement okay that's what's going to glue everything together there all right now that we're uh, ready to start we're going to go ahead and disassemble the motor here uh, I believe it's only four bolts four actual screws to hold this thing on. We're gonna take it off and get everything ready to mount the flange up. All right, there we go. Got that thing disassembled, taken off. Up in there, but let's get all that stuff off. So there we go. Got a hole exposed. Now this, now this, now we can see this is where, this is where our flange is gonna mount, right here on the bottom. All right, next thing we gotta do is we wanna figure out what we want our height to be um, where it comes out for the deer to feed. So, you know, this is just whatever you're looking for. I'm going to probably run, I think here will be good regardless if I go two foot. So two foot will put me about at my waist. I think that'll be plenty. It'll be high enough for the critters, the raccoons and stuff can't get into it, but yet low enough that the deer can. So I'm going to cut my middle section, my PVC, at two foot. I go over measure two foot, that's where I want mine at, right here on three. It's going to take Sawzall. Got her right there. There we go, that's gonna go in the flange piece right there. Gonna hook up the T. As you can see, there's where we're at right now. Okay, grab your feet and come through here. Now all we gotta do is come out with our ends on this T part, that's actually where the deer is going to feed at. 
I think I'm going to make mine a foot, just because that's simple math. A foot on each side should be fine. These two pieces are going to go right in here to the end. Hey, let's see where we're at now. Right here. Now, the last thing we're going to have to do is on these feeder side, we're going to cut a section up and around that makes a trough to where the deer can get in there a little bit easier. Okay? We're going to make a mark, and all we're going to do is just take our saws off and cut, come up at an angle. Nope. Come up at an angle from here to here, from middle up to the top. Right, for this guy here to be safe, we're going to throw it in a vise. There we go. So now you can see they can stick their nose in. And what I am going to do is this has got a lot of burrs on it right here. I'm going to take the drill to go around this edge just to clean it up. Okay. Alright, let's go get the other one. So while this thing's drying, we're going to go ahead and put some black paint on it. I definitely don't want to stick it out in the woods like this. White. Alright, one thing I did decide I want to do. Um, is this is the bottom right here is I'm gonna drill in a few holes just in case I would get water um, coming down through here or in the trough it's got a way to escape so we're gonna drill a few holes in here all right there it is finished up I only put two screws in it for right now um, I'm going to be taking it back off, transport it, put it back on down there, but there's what we got. Deer can come right down in there, get all the stuff out. Alright, hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. Right, we're going to go pick up some corn here tomorrow, put this thing back down there, get the trail camera out, set it up on video, and get some live video of deer using this. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoy the deer videos. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.